Erosion is the ultimate fossil detective, revealing them as rocks get worn away by the environment or Earth's plates playing bumper cars. The Botanic Garden of Smith College says scientists use a mix of relative dating and absolute dating to guess how old these fossil treasures are. Relative dating is like a game of older or younger using geology to give us a rough idea of a fossil's age. It's not perfect, but hey, it helps put fossils in the right order at least. Now, absolute dating is where things get radioactive, literally. We're talking about radiometric dating, which checks out the decay of carbon, potassium, and uranium. It's not going to tell you the fossil's birthday, but it's way more precise than relative dating. Here's the catch, though. Fossils don't come with radioactive tags. So, we got to rely on the layers of rock they're found in. Picture a fossil sandwich, with the oldest stuff at the bottom and the newest on top. By analyzing these layers, scientists can figure out if a fossil is older or younger than its neighbors. That's called stratigraphy, and it helps us date fossils even if we can't get their exact age. Biostratigraphy is the fancy term for this fossil dating game. But wait, there's more. We've got paleomagnetic stratigraphy, which uses Earth's magnetic field like a compass. Did you know Earth's magnetic field can switch places over thousands of years? We call that a magnetic reversal, and it's like a time machine for dating fossils based on these well-known flips.